Hi all welcome to the fourth episode of trending commodity picks Prime Minister Narendra Modi's third term has begun on a good note for gold consumers in the 2024-25 budget presented in parliament last week finance minister Nirmala Sitharaman has cut the import duty on gold and silver to 6% from 15% earlier The duty cut has now halved the total levy on gold jewelry to 9% from the earlier 18% including 3% GST. As a result, domestic gold prices immediately dropped in the spot and future markets. Though gold prices in India sway to global movements, there has been at least a relief of rupees 590 per gram on gold and rupees 76 per gram on silver no doubt the duty comes as a big relief on the other hand the government may stand to gain wondering how the earlier duty of 16% had led to rampant smuggling of the precious metal into the country over the past few weeks we saw authorities cracking down on such groups according to the world gold council 150 to 200 tons of gold are smuggled into the country every year that means the government was losing huge revenue it should get through customs duty this should help improve more gold coming in legally and thus better revenue for the government also high global prices will offset any drop in revenue the cut in duty comes just when the festive period is set to begin on july 16 gold prices soared to a new high of 2488.40 dollars an ounce unable to sustain they dropped below 2400 before recovering to rule around 2410 dollars now gold has been ruling at elevated levels since 2022 after the ukraine war broke out the geopolitical crisis in the middle east has further strengthened it at times of war and such crises investors feel safe in buying gold we are witnessing that now in addition central banks worldwide have been buying gold for reserves according to the world gold council central banks bought over 1000 tons of gold each year in 2022 and 2023 the people's bank of china bought for 18 consecutive months and has been a major force behind the precious metal golden run wgc says the reserve bank of india gold purchases in the first half of 2024 totaled 31.1 tons the highest since 2013 it's up three times from last year gold has appreciated by over 15% so far this year making it one of the most best performing assets globally therefore the modi government's move to cut gold duty could not have come at a better time over the next couple of months we will know how the duty has worked thank you all for listening in until we meet in the next episode bye for now